so I'm within my data management workspace. Now let's look at data entities. Data entities are like your target entities in AX 2012. These are the different loads that Microsoft has given you that you can run. As you can see, there are any number of them. In fact, in the latest version of Dynamics 365, Microsoft has published over 1,700 data entities. So whatever load you're looking into do, come in here and make sure that it's not here before you decide to pay for a custom script because chances are it already exists. I'm going to focus on one today called customers. So this is one, again, that I've always used. You always need to migrate your customers at Go Live. And so what you can do here is you can press target fields. And these are all the fields that are available to you to load to. Here I'm going to call out one of the biggest differences between data entities in D365 and target entities in AX2012. And that's if you press this entity structure. So in AX2012, you would have seen all the tables that this entity would load to and the fields associated to that table. So let's think about customers for a second. A customer gets loaded to the customer table, the global address book, physical locations, electronic locations, which is your email address, your phone numbers, and a few others. And you would be able to see all of those here and see which fields are related. You would also be able to see field types such as string or num or integer, etc. In Dynamics 365 operations, what they've done is they've created these denormalized entities. And what these mean is that you simply now load to this entity and the entity takes care of populating the tables behind the scenes. Why they've done this is because these data entities are much heavier used in integrations. So now if you're building an integration to a subsystem, and for example, let's say you create customers in that subsystem and then a nightly job loads into Dynamics 365. In the past, a developer would have had to make sure that all those fields and all those individual tables match. Now they just have to map it to this one entity and the entity takes care of the rest. A huge boon in creating integrations is this new denormalized structure.